Okay, everybody. Today we're going to look at up close at the sink thus far and the cooktop station as well. So here's the sink thus far until I can get the pump. Um, I'm so sorry that I don't remember the Banner family member's name, but they told me about a pump at Harbor Freight that I will be getting today or tomorrow so that I can pump the fresh water um, up through the sink. Thinking about removing this and putting it through the hole here and making some sort of PVC type thing, I'm not sure. I mean, I like the way this looks because it looks like a real stink sink, but at this time, the water won't be coming out of this at any time. And I realized that I need um, a taller nozzle if I want to fill my water bottle. So I think I might take this off and put it in the tool bin under my bed and figure something else out with the piece of PVC or some kind of tubing attached to this pegboard that I put up here and nozzle that comes up higher for me to fill my water bottle. Because as you can see, this is my water bottle and that's not gonna cut it as far as trying to fill it from anything here. It definitely needs to be something that's at least this tall. Right now my fresh water is this um, spring water that I got from the grocery store. Um, I did not dump it into the blue container that you normally see, which is currently hanging out up here empty and the reason I didn't is this one is much smaller and it's more pliable so I was able to bungee cord it up here and push it up against my um, canvas uh, pantry items this one is empty right now so I was able to push it up against that and be able to have a functioning sink with quote-unquote running water so let me just show you what I've decided to do as far as remember I do prefer two sinks, one for bathroom and one for dishes. So I've decided that this is going to be the bathroom sink with nothing in it. When I use it this way, this is straight bathroom. When it comes time to do dishes, I will put this container, which fits perfectly in the sink, I will put this container in the sink and wash my dishes out of this sink. So anything to do with kitchen will be done in this container. The reason I decided to do it that way, I'll show you exactly why. Under here, before when I was using the two bowls, the red bowl for dishes and the blue bowl for bathroom, remember I had them sitting inside the five gallon jug, uh, I mean uh, bucket. So when they were sitting in the five gallon bucket, it was so much easy to dump whichever container into the wide open mouth of a five gallon bucket. I no longer have that option anymore. This is a tapered top. So if I were to use this container as my bathroom sink, when it comes time to dump the water, I would still be dumping it into the sink sink to get it into the gray bucket, gray water bucket. So it just did not make sense to me to do that. So to keep the area sanitary for me, in my mind, I'm going to use this container as the food container, washing dishes, cleaning vegetables, what have you, and then I will dump this into the sink, and then that doesn't matter. So before I wash up, I'll wash my sink out with a little bit of alcohol or and vinegar, or baking soda and vinegar, or whatever I have on hand, and then I'll wash up in this sink. This will be completely uncontaminated because it will be um, dishes only. <clears throat> I'd rather dump the dishwater into my bathroom sink instead of dumping the bathroom water into my dish sink, if that makes sense. To some people it will, to others it will be confusing, but just know that there's no cross camp contamination. <laughs> um, at least I don't think there will be. I've used it the last couple days. It seems like it's the most safe, sanitary way to do it in my mind. Okay, I'm going to put these dishes that need to be washed back in the sink. I'll wash those after the video is done. And I'm going to show you my setup for cooking. Okay, I'm just going to sit on the floor here. Hey guys. And I guess I'm going to bring you down a little bit more. 
All right, so this is my cooktop. Um, the one thing I dis just realized as I put it up, which literally was a few minutes ago, I need about an inch taken off this side. It's, it just narrowly brushes against this um, curtain. And I need a couple of inches, two and a half to three inches taken off this side because I did not realize that I cannot put this down when the door is closed. I can open the door and put it down and it's completely fine. Now, the hinges that I have are regular hinges, but I had already had some legs cut for the previous um, tabletop that was going to house my sink. So because I already had these legs cut, I just took one of them and attached it to the side and I can just use that when I cook. So as you can see, this does not go all the way down. I'll need about mm, three inches cut off of here, which is disappointing because I was trying to leave myself a place to um, counter space to put, you know, spices or something while I'm cooking in my pot or pan. I would have my spices here to flavor whatever it is I'm flavoring. But that's okay. It's not a big deal. Um, I can always, if I wanted to, put it up like this instead of down. Um, the only reason I say not is because it covers, it would cover up the handle for closing this door. I'll live with it like this. I mean, I don't mind it even just laying here and the leg can go underneath. This is the door that I enter and exit through anyway on this side. So, um, I don't open this one unless I really want a good breeze. It's mostly this one that's open. So this doesn't really bother me too much. Aesthetically, it doesn't look cool. It would be better if it were flat against the, um, door there. But I'll live with it for a little bit and see uh, how I like it. So, uh, let me get the other leg. I had two of those legs, so I just kept them both because I wasn't sure if I wanted to put the other leg on this side. The cooktop is not heavy. It really isn't. Even with food on the little stove part, it's just not heavy at all. Alright, so that's that. So my propane, let me show you. My propane lives in this door pocket. I have the extension cord. I'm at Miss JD's house. The propane lives in this pocket over here. And the cooktop is underneath in the pocket under there. And so basically you just screw it on. And let me tell you, this height of this table just makes it. But I do at some point want to get a three gallon tank and put it under here. One of the little three gallon propane tanks. And as you can see, it just narrowly misses the floor by literally half inch, maybe a smidge more than a half inch. So it does not touch the floor at all. It is freestanding like it was before in the old van. Obviously, when I'm cooking, I will tuck that away. This window here is cracked. This window doesn't open. I wish it did. I will think about replacing this window with a pop-out window later, but you can always open this door like this to get ventilation when cooking. And then I would be cooking and the smells would go out like this. I'm also considering taking this window out and putting a um, Max Air or Fantastic Air um, fan because I do not want to cut my roof because I have all of this. This is um, electrical up in here with, for the lights and for my rear AC. So I don't want to have to deal with that. So I figure um, I knew I could put plexiglass here um, or metal here with a fan in the window. I also considered putting a fan in the back window behind me here. So maybe I'll do a vent on this one and a fan back there. Because if I do a vent if I do a vent on this window, it'll have the slotted things and a screen so bugs can't come in. And also I'll be able to close it, close the, the little slots up and down. Kind of like you close your vents for your air and your heat in your car. They make vents like that. Um, I would definitely probably have to put some sort of um, plexiglass in it because I don't think the vents are as big as this window. But I could definitely do plexiglass on the top half and maybe a vent on this bottom half. I'll figure that out when I um, get to the West Coast maybe this winter. But I thought that'd be good because then I can just slide open the vent on the bottom when I cook, close it up when I don't need it, 
and again it, there would be mesh there so bugs couldn't get in just the um, propane and the smoke from what I'm cooking would go out so that's my thought process for the whole thing but again that's something later I didn't have it in any other van I didn't need it I just popped open my window or cracked open my sliding door which is what I'll do here this window is open and this door can be cracked I mean if I'm sitting at a park somewhere and I crack this door open no one cares you know about that I don't normally do any kind of uh, stealth cooking on the side of the road if I'm parked for the night I don't cook I just eat some fruit and go to bed or granola bar or something and go to bed um, yeah so that's that's this um, I got my leg there which is very pretty strong I mean this cooktop even if I were to put my um, pan with water on it is quite strong it's not gonna jostle it's not gonna go anywhere if there's enough space here I could also put one of those little um, aluminum things around it you know the three-sided things around it to prevent any side you know issues I can clip this up here with the binder clip so it doesn't blow over but I think it's turned out really really well this was the last of the red spray paint it's very sprayed very sporadically so it's not the best um, looking paint job uh, even this is sprayed very sporadically because I was really low on spray paint and did not want to buy another cam but I knew I was going to be putting this curtain around it anyway to cover up the front where the um, where the uh, gray bucket is I want to paint the back because I didn't have enough paint so when I get some black spray paint and paint the back of this uh, touch up and paint the back of this I'll take this curtain off and just put it on the very front because I do like I do want to show more of this so I'll be painting the edge here black the back of this black I think this is already somewhat black here but I have to get some touch up paint and um, touch it up uh, I probably won't do spray paint I'll probably get us the smallest can of regular black um, paint that I can find but yeah I'm very pleased with how everything has turned out uh, once I get the pump and have official running water I'll be really really excited uh, as you can see, this did not work so well in my favor, so I'm going to scrape this off, and I think I'm going to just drill right into this, right on these corners. I'm going to make some small holes with my drill and use some thin screws on each corner and drill it into the, um, the wood. It doesn't matter if there are holes on this top part. I'll never have the sink filled to the top anyway, so it doesn't matter, but I will definitely be pre-drilling holes in it so that I don't crack the sink. That's the last thing I want to do is crack the sink. But other than that, I'm super excited and super happy about my setup. I love having an actual sink sink. It's a real sink. Um, it's not quite functioning, but it's a real sink. And I love the look of having a real sink instead of a bowl. Uh, I do like that I have this nice great container. It's got a nice handle uh, that I can go dump. I'm really excited. It has really come a long way. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to leave the gray, uh, the fresh water up here. What I'm hoping to do is at some point, pretty soon, within the next few months, to get some slender water bottles, two slender water bottles, the water bricks, the smaller ones, and put them side by side so I have a gray one and a fresh one here. So the, the, the pump will come, I'll drill a hole here and the pump will come into the fresh one and go behind it'll go behind here and come up here for the fresh water and then the gray will just again be in front of where this is right here or a tube from there to there little tweaks little tweaks but it is usable right now and I've washed up in it the last couple of days and I am perfectly content and happy with it Thanks so much guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what I should do with the gray, uh, fresh water. Should I put it up here? Should I put it up here? Or should I get a water brick down at the bottom? And also don't forget to go to Patreon for your exclusive Vanner family content. It's so much fun over there. We have a blast over there. I've just added some more fun things for us to do throughout the month as well over there. So check us out. Bye. I love you.